everyone! In today's video, I'm going to take you guys throughout my day, show you guys what's a day in your life as a software engineer in Seattle, Washington is like. And today's video is sponsored by Sony LinkBot. And majority of the video, just like now, the audio will be recorded through Sony LinkBot. And more about our sponsor later. So typically, I will wake up at around 8 a.m. and brush my teeth and do my skincare. Okay, this is my skincare. This is a cleanser I use. This is a toner I use. I should call him vitamin C serum. The moisturizer. Can't forget the sunscreen. Uh, I don't know the brand. My girlfriend got it for me. Uh, this is a website. So it's um, Ron Lab. <laughs> ah, I got my eye. All done. After my morning routine, I'll we'll go put on my headphone, which is our today's sponsor, LinkBot. LinkBot will connect all your words perfectly with open ring design, allow you to hear, call, listen to music, play game, and hear other type of online content anytime, or while remain naturally connect to the ambient sound around you. The crystal clear calling precise voice pickup technology optimally control multiple microphones and perform advanced voice signal processing. That allows the person on the other end of the call hear you clearly, even through noisy surrounding. And the adaptive volume control automatically optimizes volume based on your environment. Name bars are draws to lower volume in quieter place and high volume in noisier situation. I absolutely love Ningbuds because wherever I go, I don't have to take it off. I can listen to my music, also be aware of my surroundings. It's about 8.42 right now. Um, I just left out my apartment and I'm walking towards my bus stop. Um, I usually try to leave before 8.30, but today I'm running a little bit late. 8.58, I'm at the bus stop, so six minute walk. So my work have their own company bus, go to different neighborhoods and pick people up, then drive them to workplaces if people don't want to come you. Um, my bus stop is a few blocks down from my apartment and it comes every 10 minutes or so in the morning from like 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. ish. Or like maybe shorter period of time, I don't remember. And now it's 8.50, so my bus should come soon. There it is, connector. So these buses are only open for employees. All you have to do is scan your badge and they will log you in and you're automatically on. It's like a typical Greyhound bus if you ever roll one. Has a cushion seating, overhead storage, AC, bathroom, and Wi-Fi too. Some people will work on the bus on the way to work, but I usually just read a book or listen to a podcast or music. It's about like 22 right now. I just got off the bus. Um, 30 minutes coming, not bad. I'm um, thinking about most of the time I just spend reading books, so it's pretty good and pretty comfortable. Uh, I usually will, depends on the traffic and what time I get on my house, I usually get to campus or work uh, around from 9 to 9.30. And today is on the later side because I'm running late. But I don't have a meeting today at least until like 10. I think I'm fine. My office has a Starbucks looking coffee shop and sell espresso, americano, all that stuff. Also have sandwiches. And because I'm running late today, so I just grab a sandwich from the coffee shop. Of course, like every other tech company, my office has a kitchen with a free tea and coffee and all different soda and drinks. I don't usually drink coffee, I only drink tea mostly. So I made a oolong tea this morning. Then I also grab a sparkling water and lemonade. After that, I will head to my desk and set everything down. Because we're still transitioning from work from home on hybrid, so two people on my team come in the office at a different time. And today is one of the day where no one else is in the office, so I'm the only one here. Then I ate my sandwich on my desk while going through my email, catch up on any conversation I missed, and prepare for my day, prepare for my meeting, see what I have to do today. This is my work cocktail. Um, half part of the sparkling water and half part of the lemonade because um, the lemonade is too sweet for me. So I just mix it with the sparkling water, um, keep it so diluted, but it still like, still tastes good because sparkling water, I don't know, make me feel like I'm drinking soda, but it's pretty good. You should give it a try. <laughs> One thing I like a lot about this link bar is I just had an online meeting. I don't have to take it off. I just kind of get to my computer and just switch over and I was in the meeting. Like, I love it. I don't have to take this out and put on another set of headset to like just to have an online meeting. And we just moved the office and someone else on my team had an extra monitor they didn't use, so they gave it to me. So I just grabbed that and set it up 
and thankfully I have a high adjusting desk so that was super easy to set up. It's 12.30, I'm going to lunch. We don't have a cafe in my building so I'm going across the street to a different building to their cafeteria. Unlike most tech companies, we don't actually get free lunch, we just get reduced lunch. But the lunch is pretty good and they are pretty affordable. Most of the meal is around 6 to 10 bucks. So I usually go to this place in my cafeteria where they can make things some for you. So I usually eat lunch with my teammates, but because we're in hybrid, so people come in and office like different day of the week. And surprisingly, today is a one day where no one else is in office. So I'm eating alone today. So I got green beans, some dumpling, and some sumai, all for eight bucks. And they are pretty good. And after lunch, I just grabbed another cup of tea, then kept working, had a few meetings until it's time for me to head out. I usually leave the office around 5 to 6, depends on when I finish the thing I'm work currently working on. But today I left at 4.30. I have to leave early because I'm going to get a haircut. Same in the morning, I'm going to take one of the contact or bus me home. Um, it's only like a few minutes walk from the office and I have to walk it off, walk a few blocks back to my home. And thanks for the Wi-Fi, I was able to do some extra work on the bus right back. The sun came out, so it got warmer, so I dropped my jacket off at home. Now I'm on the way to the subway station. Um, this is a hair salon I found in Chinatown. It gives like $15 men's haircut. And let's try it out. And fingers crossed and hope it doesn't turn out bad. <laughs> Someone's playing violin, whatever. Subway in Seattle, you just tap the order card. There we go. So the subway in Seattle doesn't have a gate like in New York or Washington. Um, it's just a uh, open road down. I think it's more of like honor system. Uh, I heard people will go on like subway check if you have the tickets, but I've never seen that happen. And apparently you can get a ticket, but who knows? It's around five. I will consider this to be a rush hour, but it's pretty empty here. So you can see not a lot of people are using public transport in Seattle. So that was only a minute subway ride. And it will take me like, 15 minutes to just drive here. Maybe like a little bit of walking time, but it's been so quick and like so much cheaper. I don't know why more people don't just use public transportation. And we're here. Kim's hair salon. This is where I go for my cheap haircut. It's a simple hair salon in Chinatown. They don't give you a towel service or the shampoo wash or all that. For $15 and tip, it's not bad. Um, also my hair is flat because I have hair, so I'm going home and shower and hopefully it turn out good. Then I took a stop at the Gundam store, which is one of my favorite stores in the Chinatown area. They have a lot of Gundam kids and a lot of Gundam kids supplies and owner super sweet. He's always building models and all these is the models he built. I was running out of the top coat, so I stopped by and grabbed a can. Then I stopped at one of my favorite Chinese barbecue place, Cow Cow, and got some roasted duck and fried rice. And you know it's a good legit Chinese restaurant when you see a fish tank inside. On my way back home, I stopped by this bakery and picked out some cheesecake for myself. After I shower, my girlfriend stopped by for dinner. We got half roasted duck and cha shu fried rice. And her mom's homemade kimchi. Then we had the cheesecake as a dessert. And she didn't know I was recording, so here's a video <laughs> of her eating a whole slice of cheesecake. Are you after dinner, we just laid on the couch, watched a movie, and did nothing for absolutely three hours straight. Then my girlfriend had to go home because she had an early shift tomorrow morning. So I just put on my headphone back in and continued work while I watched some anime, going through email, editing video, and such. So yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of my life um, editing video and doing email, doing more work, probably around till 1 a.m. And go to bed and I usually go to bed around like 12 to 1 a.m. sometimes maybe even 2 a.m. depends on the time what I have to do and like you know some work to catch up but yeah that's the rest of my day and this is all day in my life and thank you for watching and shout out to Sony huge thanks to Sony to sponsor this um check out Sony link bar and link in below in the description and thank you guys for watching bye